Hey guys, I'm editing my video here and I'm starting to realize that it's very long. What I was doing for Vlogmas is kind of just doing it a little bit differently and I was kind of just doing like one week as one video. But this last week I didn't realize how much I filmed. So I'm splitting this one into two, okay? So it's now the 6th of December, the day after my birthday. I haven't done my advent calendar yet. Let's find out what I got. Here it is. Six. What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? It's white. It is... Smoothing cream. Ooh. UV professional. Is like a moisturizer? Actually, it smells quite nice. I was reading the back and it says two to three drops. So I'm assuming you put it in my hair. But um, I'm going to give this a go after I wash my hair. Okay, so I put this Christmas tree up a couple of weeks ago now. And don't worry, I know it looks very sad. It's got lots of gaps on it. For some reason it keeps leaning. It's not very obvious on camera, but trust me, in person you'll notice it. Um, and the annoying thing about this tree is you have to, because it's a fake tree, um, every single little, like, leaf bit, you have to physically, whoops, hang on, maybe I should show you here. They pop in yourself individually, so they, like, they come out like that. And it's, like, annoying. So I found out this was Matt's tree from when he was a kid. Um, his parents gave it to us when we moved into the house. And, I mean, even though it was a really nice gesture, putting that thing up every single year, nah, I'm not going to do it. So I ended up using $70 of my flyby credits to get myself a new tree. And the new tree that I brought kind of pops out on its own. You don't have to, like, everyone together. And then it also comes with lights. So I'm going to take this one down. I have to take the decorations off first. And then I'll go put my new one up. It seemed like a lot on the tree, but there wasn't really. This was all the decorations that I had on there, which isn't that bad, really. Okay, these little gold things, I thought I'd show you. I'm just going to leave them on there because I'm going to chuck them. Um, it's literally just tinsel, and I just wrapped it around some of the, um, like the fake branches to kind of give it a bit of a... A glistening effect. My idea was to try and make it look like the Australian Christmas tree even though the Australian Christmas tree is a completely different plant. Um, I'll put a picture up on the side so you can kind of get an idea. That's why I wanted to add a bit of gold in there. Maybe that's what we guys should do. Why are we putting like pine trees in our house? We should be putting Australian Christmas trees in our house. Australia? What are we doing? <laughs> Not bad for a fake tree. Just needs stuff on it. <laughs> That's definitely looking a lot better. Got my little Santa. My Winnie the Pooh. Don't forget all my little Aussie animals. Oh, there's the gingerbread man. <laughs> and I even have Woody Santa's outfit. <laughs> But we, what we don't have is the star. Give me a second. That's better. Ta-da. My tree topper is a little bit crooked. I think it's because it's so top heavy. But I'll work it out later. <laughs> bit of a, a bad dog mum moment here. This one, uh, we got a little phone call from someone this morning saying they found our dog. <laughs> Lucky it was only a couple houses up. Um, on our street, there is a house that's still under construction, and um, this one decided to take himself for a walk. The guy came to knock on our door, and the front door was completely open. And the only thing I can think of is last night um, I was watching TikTok videos and people in Perth saying that the planets had aligned, so apparently you were able to see Venus and Jupiter and all this kind of stuff like in a row. To be honest with you, I went outside to have a look, and I couldn't work it out. All I could see was the line of Elon Musk's satellites anyway so I came back inside and I specifically locked the door see our door from the inside it has like a little thing and you push it in and that locks it I mustn't have like pushed it in because you can lock it but if it's not if the door's not pushed in hard enough it won't like lock lock so I, I didn't double check my fault and yeah this one decided to take himself for a walk because it was really windy this morning what are you doing Bobby? say what Dad? oh it's time to do my advent calendar so we are now on is it the, yeah, it's the seventh. I specifically put this one here so it was easy for me to find. Soft and squidgy. Is that a little purse? What is that? Okay, I need to open it, hang on. Gotta open. It's, um, it's really cute looking. 
with a little bottle on the end. So if I open it, I might be able to find out what it is. It has to be hand sanitizer. Hmm, that's weird. It really should say, legally, everything should say what it is. So I'm going to have to go on the site of the lady who um, made the boxes to find out what it is because I don't want to be squirting anything on myself. I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's hand sanitizer. It's now later on in the afternoon. I finished my morning at the salon. I just had a really, really interesting um, message come through from Matt telling me that he had a car accident. <laughs> Apparently it wasn't that bad though. From my understanding from the way he was explaining to me is he was on the highway in the right hand lane um, and someone came and like merged like from the left, went into the middle lane and then just kept going and didn't look to see that Matt was there. And so essentially this person has like crashed into the side of Matt's car. Matt drives a big four wheel drive. So apparently his car is perfectly fine. According to Matt, I did say maybe she could get it checked over, but apparently this guy's turtled his car and needs a, a tow truck now. <laughs> to be honest with you, I was really hoping Matt would say his car was written off because it's insured for a lot of money. It is what it is. So that white ring, that's all the damage. <laughs> Don't fuck with the four wheel drive. No, we found something. The tiniest, tiniest little scratch. <laughs> you must have been a bit hot out there for you, Bubby. I just gave him some water and I put some ice blocks in it for him. And he's happy. <laughs> he likes to sit there and chew on the ice blocks. <laughs> it's a bit cold for your tongue. Is it a bit cold for your tongue? <laughs> Thanks, you good boy. Aww. It's the 8th of December now. Let's see what I get. You think I'd remember which numbers we'll wear? Oh, it's a long skinny one. Are you trying to get the feather duster? <laughs> Hang on. Ta-da! What is it? Lip. Oh, cool. Oh, is it a lip pencil? Lip definer. I don't even know if you can see that. It's so orange. Um, can you please stop making a racket? Tick, 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 tick. Thank you. He's not listening. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Bye.